Hello, my name is Joseph Falk, technical trainer. With new refrigerants on the horizon and going into effect on January 1st, 2025, best practices for installation of HVAC systems will become more important than ever for you and your team. As we embrace a more environmentally friendly refrigerant, we'd like to give you a refresher on top recommended best practices. Perform a proper load calculation. Performing a proper load calculation is more critical than before. It creates a strong foundation for the rest of a project. By installing more efficient equipment, improving on door and window efficiency, and higher standards on insulation, a home's load is met with the appropriate equipment. Select proper equipment. Once load calculations have been performed, the proper piece of equipment can be selected to meet the needs of the application. Proper sizing, as well as installation of needed accessories, can help the homeowner improve their overall home comfort and have a system that is personalized for their needs while ensuring that they can enjoy the full life of the system itself. Evaluate ductwork to ensure proper airflow. Make modifications if necessary. Evaluation of existing ductwork is key to ensure that the proper airflow through the home is reached. The difference between easily moving conditioned air and restrictions is the installation of proper ductwork. This will impact the equipment's performance over time as well as the efficiency the homeowner expects from their system. Ensure line sets are the proper size and clean. Replace it if needed. Depending on the type or efficiency of equipment being replaced, line set diameter and lengths may differ. In order to use an existing line set, ensure the line set is clean and properly flushed. Ensure that the electrical wire and breakers are the correct size. Switching to a heat pump versus an air conditioner or installing more efficient equipment can mean changes in electrical requirements. Evaluate the entire system, including accessories, to ensure wiring, breakers, and fuses match the expected load of the equipment. Check to ensure that the low voltage wire is the correct size and installed according to the manufacturer's instructions. Set equipment and be sure that all manufacturer and local code clearance requirements are followed. Follow manufacturer's piping and brazing procedures. This includes steps like providing nitrogen through the system to keep the tubing clean, as well as other guidelines. Pull a vacuum on the system by following the manufacturer's instructions. With changes to refrigerants, there will be a higher expectation of how systems are evacuated and vacuums pulled to ensure the system is cleaned and leak-free. Though time-consuming, it is a necessary step. Charge the system according to the manufacturer's recommendations. Being precise with the charge is important. Take the time to do the calculations and weigh in the charge per the manufacturer's recommendations. Accurately recording these values on the equipment will be a requirement as the industry shifts into new refrigerants. Perform a startup and document this on the performance checklist. Recording startup values gives the installer a final verification the equipment is running properly, as well as leaves a reference for technicians to refer to when performing standard maintenance. With new changes coming in 2025, these are just a few key practices to keep in mind. For more information, please contact your local distributor or visit Allied Air Academy. Thank you.